فيا سائلا عن منهج الحق يبتغي سلوك طريق القوم حقا ويسعد تأمل هداك الله ما قد نظمته تأمل من قد كان للحق يقصد That's an incorrect statement for many reasons. Let's look at an example of a revelation that was not mentioned in the Quran, which is facing the Masjid Al-Aqsa, the Quds in Jerusalem. When the pagans worshipped their lords, they would face the Kaaba, the Haram. They would face the Haram. While the Muslims, who are يعني, the rightful uh, people to be facing the Kaaba, were facing the Quds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, in Surah Al-Baqarah, We see you, O Prophet, turning your face towards heaven, and we will make you turn towards a direction and direction of prayer. That will please you. So turn your face towards the sacred mosque, يعني the Haram in Mecca. What, uh, wherever you turn, turn your faces towards it. Those who were given the scriptures certainly know this to be the truth from their Lord. And Allah is never unaware of what they do. So if we... And have the dabbur on this ayah. If we look at this ayah and we think carefully about this ayah, we realize the Prophet وسلم, was facing the Quds, even though he desired and he wanted, and he keeps turning to the skies and in a fashion to seek permission from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to turn towards Haram in Mecca, to turn towards Mecca. If this was a personal choice that the Prophet ﷺ was making, he would have turned to, have, to the Haram. He would have not even faced the Quds to begin with. But he keeps looking to the heavens, seeking permission from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted him the permission to face the Haram in Mecca. So a question arises. Why did the Prophet not turn towards the Haram? If it's a personal choice, he can turn. But it's a commandment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's why he keeps looking to the heavens. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives him the permission, gives him another commandment to face the Haram. Now the question to the Qur'an Yun is where in the Qur'an does it state the Prophet ﷺ was commanded to face the Quds. Where does it state that the Prophet ﷺ was commanded to face the Quds? It doesn't say. So what does that mean? There is a revelation other than the form of Qur'an that was sent down to him that was binding upon the Prophet ﷺ preventing him from turning from the Quds to Masjid al-Haram in Mecca. So that establishes that the only form of revelation is not a Quranic revelation. There are other forms of revelation. And inshallah, if you get a chance, uh, maybe something that you'll study in Aqidah, the forms of revelation, there are revelations by dreams, revelations by angels, revelations by Allah speaking directly to the uh, messengers, wara a hijab, for example, Musa, and so on. And there's different forms of revelation. So again, if they really understood the Quran and they are true followers of the Quran, then that ayah, that question will always be in their heads. That as soon as they read the ayah, that question will always be in their heads. But no, they're not really interested in truly following the Quran. They are interested in following their uh, hawa and desires. So their argument, revelation was only in the form of Quran, 
is a pointless argument.